Hey, what's up, everybody? Just want to share with you what happened to me today in hopes that it will bless you as well. So I go to the dentist today because I'm having pain in my mouth. Okay. Now, mind you, I've gone to the dentist a couple months back, a year back. I can't remember. And I don't like going to the dentist. I'm not going to lie to you. I really don't like going. So if I go to the dentist, I'm actually in pain. Okay. Um, I've tried my best to do all of the things that the dentist has told me to do. My brushing, my flossing. I try to be an obedient patient. I try to be a good patient and listen and obey. So I get in there today and they clean out my mouth. They clean and they find that I have a temporary filling. Temporary, which means that filling wasn't going to last. And the underneath that filling, what had happened is I had gotten some type of bacteria that had gotten under the filling and started to decay under the filling. Now, mind you, the filling is supposed to cover and protect, but for some reason, the bacteria got under the filling and started to decay under there, which started causing more problems and more pain. So here's what they did. I learned quite a bit today about dentistry because when you're in pain, you pay attention and you try to learn so that you don't endure the pain again. So they clean it all out. They drill out the old filling, take it out. They clean out all the decay and then they put another, get this, another temporary filling. The reason why they use temporary is because they want to monitor and see will the tooth heal itself before they go to the next step. Now, here's the thing I learned, temporary. A lot of us are chasing after temporary things instead of what's eternal, instead of what's permanent. Jesus Christ is not a temporary fix. Now, church attendance might be a temporary thing. See, I come to church when I temporarily need relief, when I need to feel God's presence. But as soon as life eases up, I'm not going to church as much as I used to. It was a temporary thing. I I do a lot of things. I pay my offering when I need a blessing from God because I need a temporary. It's just something I'm doing temporarily. I'm going to try this out. But as soon as God doesn't bless the way I think he should bless, that is another thing I stop doing. It's just temporary. We can't have a temporary fix if we want to have long-term success in our spiritual walk. If we want to have, we have to seek after what's eternal. And Jesus Christ, having a relationship with him, is what will lead to eternity. Eternity. So, here's the next steps. If, if the tooth does not heal itself, if it doesn't get better, then they will take out that temporary filling and then they will do what's called a root canal. Root canal means they go in and they extract the root of the tooth because there's damage there, there's decay there, it's getting too close to the pulp or the bone and all that stuff, blah, 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 you know, all that technical jargon. But anyhow, I like the term root canal. Now, I don't want a root canal, but I like the term because the term tells me it's deep. And see, what we keep doing is we keep wanting to scratch the surface and figure out stuff from the surface. And Jesus is like, no, we need to get this from the root. The reason why I keep returning to my same sin is not because it's a surface issue. There's something deep at the root that's keeping me from releasing that. There's something deep at the root of the heart of me that won't allow me to walk away from this wrong living and allow him to guide my steps. So we need to go in at the root, extract the root, and then we have to put on a crown. Another term I've grown to love. Crown, a covering. The crown is designed to cover all of the exposed. And Jesus Christ wants to be what covers us. He wants to cover our lives. He wants to allow his, his power to rest over us so that we will be strong and covered. And then we won't be exposed. But here's the thing I learned. Even though you have a crown, because many of you that are watching this probably have a crown, maybe more. Okay, If you don't practice daily dental hygiene, even that crown, around that crown, and maybe even under that crown, you might see decay creep in again. If you're anything like me, you don't want to go back to the dentist. I don't want to see the dentist again because it hurts. It took three shots, three shots to get me numb, and I was still feeling stuff. I don't want to go back. 
God. So I'm like, Doc, what can I do? What can I do differently so I don't have to see you again? I'm like, I'm doing everything you told me. I'm brushing, I'm flossing, I'm swishing mouthwash. What else can I do? And this was his words. Whenever you have a tooth that we've had to work on to the extent that we've had to work on your tooth, even though you're doing a great job, you're still exposed. That tooth is exposed and it could cause problems again later. So although you're doing everything right right now, don't be discouraged when you still have to deal with some of the pain from your past. Don't be discouraged. Keep on maintenance maintenancing maintenancing your mouth daily keep maintenancing your life daily daily walk with him daily seek him daily read your bible daily pray daily find a way to show him that you appreciate him and if you do that you might still feel a little pain from this and that from your past but the rest he said the rest of your teeth look great but that one tooth caused me problems so i didn't mean for this video to be this long but i want to share with you what god has shared with me that going to the dentist although it's something you don't want to do something you didn't want to do it was necessary but you learn from this and other people can learn from this jesus wants to be your covering he wants to cover your life i want him to cover my life and i hope you want him to cover yours and all you have to do is seek him ask him into your heart and he will cover you but you're going to have to maintenance your life daily all right god bless you share this video with someone else inspire encourage and uplift their lives as well deuces